Good morning, fam, and happy hump day Wednesday to you. This is Dr. Tommy Pringle coming to you again with another work week inspirational and encouraging message for today. On yesterday, we talked about how the Lord will be with you when you pass through the waters or walk through the fire. He will protect you from being overwhelmed with or being consumed by the issues of life, which covers two different extreme ends of the spectrum. And these act as other reasons why we shouldn't be fearful of anything. Today, we're going to continue on in scriptures around fear and come from the book of 1 John chapter 4 in verse number 18, where it reads, There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. So the love that we have for our Lord, should be enough to cast out any fear that we have developed because of what we see around us. Why? Because of who he is and what he does and has done for us. He keeps us safe. He leads us. He guides us. He corrects us. And when we're doing wrong, and he also protects us. So that perfect love we have will cast out any fear. Why do we need fear cast out of our lives? This scripture gives us the answer. It's because fear hath torment, and torment is severe physical or mental suffering. We suffer physically by the toll that we allow fear to have on our bodies due to worrying, which causes loss of sleep, exhaustion, high blood pressure, panic attacks, and other types of physical ailments. We suffer mentally because continuing to second guess ourselves and not being willing to step out on faith due to listening to the world or walking by sight. By continuing to confuse our minds by listening to what God is telling us to do while also listening to what the world is telling us to do. As this has a tendency to lead to double-minded ways. So I encourage you today, to refrain from allowing fear to torment you by loving with the love of the Lord so that the fear is cast out. Allow this message to resonate in your spirit today as the Lord continues to shape and mold you into the Christian that he called you to be. I love you with the love of the Lord. Be blessed this week.